change. Resistant to change. It's the fear of what's next. Am I gonna, how am I gonna survive? I suppose that's where courage comes in. And you say, okay, I'm going to do what I'm passionate about. That's the very nature of the material I work with. Courage and strength. It's hard, resistant material. I'm a blacksmith and a craftsman. I immerse myself in iron. If I can work that material. And then the air fanning the flames. <laughs> These primal elements, it's all an unraveling dance mystery. <laughs> yeah, I just ride it, immerse myself in the work. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. I've tried to immerse myself in the ancient craft but I've also had to deal with the modern aspect of the working metal. That's the direction that part of our society is headed towards. Or many people will lose the ability to create because the machine is taking over. It's scary. So the human being needs to get more involved descend into matter. You know, we're all trying to ascend, but we need to descend and become, yeah, dirty, I suppose, and modern people don't really want to get dirty. <laughs> Just like behind our physical matter, there's um, a soul and a spirit, and I think it's the same thing with, with the earth and nature. Behind it, there's a soul and a spirit and a, a creative force or energy, and I, I feel I need to connect with that. And who are we? <laughs> A big question. In the end, it's it's what we've chosen. We engage with it and we live it. Do what you love doing. Do what you dream. I'd love to come back and do it again. <laughs>